Hello and uh, welcome to a quick tutorial how to install the landscaping plugin into Unreal Engine 5. Unreal Engine 5 uh, preview 1 is out since a uh, couple of days and I'm happy to uh, announce that uh, well partition is fully supported now. <coughs> yeah, let's dive right into it um, with no further ado. Uh, once you have the plugin uh, downloaded, you will find it in um, Engine Plugins Marketplace. Uh, copy it <coughs> and go to your uh, Unreal Engine 5 project. And yeah, you have to create a um, plugins folder. Pass the plugin in right here, and then um, you have to force recompile the project. Um, often link errors occur uh, when you uh, import a plugin from a former version. So to omit this, um, delete binaries and intermediate folders. And then <coughs> in the Epic Game Launcher, you can just uh, open the project. <coughs> you will be asked to, um, yeah, to load the plugin course you want it and you also will be asked to uh, recompile it also yes and then it takes a while until the plugin recompiles yeah wait for it and then you can enjoy uh, importing this data in Unreal Engine 5 and make awesome real awesome worlds big worlds I mean thousands of square kilometers are possible with world partition this is really awesome. So we arrived in Unreal Engine 5 and now we can take a look at the plugin and how it works in conjunction with World Partition. Well, uh, when you open it, window landscaping, uh, you uh, will notice that the um, select DTM files button is grayed out. This is because there is already a landscape in this level. Unreal Engine 5 default level has a landscape in it and the plugin auto detects it so you cannot import another landscape in the same level. What should we do? We uh, will open a new level, empty open world, create it. No, we don't want to save this. Okay, and now <coughs> we can import ETM files. Yes, yeah, straight into it. Let's have a um, real world in Unreal Engine 5 is World Partition, which one? Yeah, we take this one as a beautiful mountains landscape. We open it. It's pretty big. I think it's 70 times 20 kilometers landscape. So reading the files will take a while. Also it's good resolution, one pixel per meter. This is also important. If you want to get a um, detailed landscape, uh, please make sure to choose input data, which is which have a good resolution. One meter per pixel means you have uh, one pixel every meter. And this is about um, the resolution Unreal Engine landscapes also have. Yeah, once uh, the plugin read all the data from this very huge uh, landscape, 365 square kilometers huge. We can go into options and there you will see use world partition. We want to use this here and make the grid size greater. <laughs> greater, greater grid size. So um, we don't want to import all of it. <coughs> you can choose it on the map. I will show it again. Here, show map will show you the area which will be imported and here there is a tool you can click on this icon and then you can make um, this the, the rectangle a little bit smaller so we will maybe yeah. there is a mountain here there's a river yeah we will take this beautiful enough demonstration purposes yeah 
save here then copy the coordinates this is the bounding box of what we want to import like in Unreal Engine we paste it here <coughs> we'll see a uh, area will be updated immediately 66 square kilometers mm, big enough and then we hit import ask to save it make a new folder call it new map then the plugin will calculate all necessary stuff to import it so here we are the plugin finished its importing process and we can see it imported yeah rather huge landscape seven and a half times eight and a half kilometers wide you can see any uh, heights now because we don't have any lights here in the scene so we turn on the lights make a sky atmosphere and sunlight so we can see the mountains go to perspective view so we have a li little bit of sunset situation here but you can all also already see the relief so control L and let the sun shine on the mountains yeah, looks beautiful. Wow, that's really great. Beautiful landscape. So the next step will be um, to apply the landscape material to the landscape. We can just choose one of our landscape materials, like here. We will use uh, the mountain, of course can apply it here. It's possible to also select shape files to make distinct areas but for our purpose it's uh, enough just to have uh, landscape material applied to um, the whole landscape. Well, that was a quick one. So we have this landscape material applied, and if you have a look at it, mm -hmm. yeah, looks good. Next possible step would be to import roads, rivers, and the like. I have prepared roads for this, so make it quick and demonstrate how this works the landscaping plugin will automatically crop the shape files to the area of the landscape so if we import here traffic no let's input roads here yeah. can look at the landscaping infos object and we have an option here to visualize the splines which will get imported see there's a lot of roads here but of course we don't want to import all of them because this would be too much mostly we can import different kind of roads you have this drop down within feature class here and you can select let's choose primary we have one primary road here and let's take a closer look does it match with the landscape well it looks pretty good does match pretty good we have to choose a spline segment mesh here and then 
we just use a cube static mesh nothing fancy it should be enough and hit import it's pretty fast to import and so we can take a look how does it look like in in the landscape here yeah, you can see we have here just a cube mesh but this is pretty good accurate there's one more interesting option we have when we work with splines with the landscaping plugin once we have imported them we can alter the shape of the landscape according to the spline it's per default uh, landscape layered so choose um, perspective here to get a closer look yeah we have a spline act to select it and when we scroll down to the default section uh, we have this option to deform the landscape and let's choose higher values here to see it in action hit deform landscape and you see instantly the landscape gets deformed according to the spline this can be a very uh, interesting option if you're landscape has not so much detail in it or the road has intersections with the landscape this will fix this it's a quick and very nice solution so that's enough from working with splines to give an overview I hope uh, you enjoyed the tutorial and I will make more videos in the future to point out other aspects of the plugin. See you then.